Now somebody said black is beautiful. Seeing ain't pretty to God. And every day you wake up, he's giving you a chance to repent. Yes, Amen. But you Amen. won't change. Now God, God can stop you. If the gospel won't change and you're wasting your time, you are never changing. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have another good lesson for you today. Uh, we call it uh, Leave Those People Alone for Your Own Good. Deuteronomy chapter 7, 1 through 26 is the text. Please stay tuned. Be turning to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, 1 through 26, will be the foundational passage for our study uh, this morning. Happy to see all of you here, you who have been away and you who are visiting. Thank you for gracing this audience with your presence. This morning, we want to talk on a subject. I want you to listen carefully at this. This lesson is kind of a warning for members of the body of Christ today. I really want you to listen, especially you young people and especially members of the church who are weak in the faith. And when I say weak in the faith, I don't mean that you are sinning occasionally. That's not what I'm talking about. When I say weak, you don't know no scripture. Amen. And if you don't know no scripture, you don't know what to do. Amen. You don't know what's right or wrong. Amen. You can be easily persuaded yes, to do foolishness. Yes, mm -hmm. Our lesson this morning, uh, leave those people alone for your own good. Amen. Let's do that again. Leave those people alone for your own good. Now, I want you to listen, members of the body of Christ, because the world has got an influence on us, but some of us don't know it. Now, the book of Deuteronomy 7 can be outlined as follows. The responsibility that they had the relationship that they had, the redemption that they received, the repayment, the results, the reassurance, watch it, and the restrictions. That was, now listen, brethren, church, the Bible says whatsoever thing are written aforetime or written for our learning. We can learn some lessons, some principles of obedience that we ought to take heed to. Please listen. Now in our text, 1 through 8, we have three main points that the children of Israel, now listen, the Deuteronomy is written Wesley to the second generation. The first generation failed because they died in the wilderness. But he's speaking to the second generation. Hey, watch it. Remember your responsibilities. That's 1 through Five. Number two, remember your relationship yes, that you have with the Lord. Yes, That's verse six and seven. And remember your redemption, how God has brought you out yes, abundance. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go down this text here and unpack the text. <laughs> Number one, here under responsibilities, no prisoners. Look at this. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land where thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee. And he's going to name seven nations of people larger and greater than the children of Israel. Now God said, now when you get in there, I want you to listen to me. Look what he said. He names them. He says, the Hittites, the Gergesites, uh, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hittites, and the Jebusites. Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. 
Look at that. Then he says, watch it. No pity on them. What? No pity. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. What? That's what God told them to do. Right. So the word, don't have no pity on them. Then, are you listening? Yes, sir. Then he says, watch it. No promise. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. Show mercy unto them. No, show mercy unto them. Don't make no covenant with them. And don't make no, don't have no mercy on them. Well, Santa, well, what kind of people are that? Well, you see, now God told them to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, he didn't tell us to do that. He told them. All right. Now, I want you to listen to something. God knew that these seven nations were heathenistic to the core. Mm -hmm. He knew that they were no good. Right. Talk to, he knew they were no good, and he knew they were no good for his people. Amen. Now, let me pause here a moment here. God knows best for us today in the church. Right. There are some people ain't no earthly good. Right. And they're my own kind. Yes. Ain't no, they black. Now these shoes I got on, but they ain't no good. Now somebody said black is beautiful. Seeing ain't pretty to God. Amen. Now watch this. <coughs> no partnership. What? Look what he says. Neither shall thou make marriage with thee. What? God said, don't you marry them heathens over there. Amen. Well, what's wrong with us today? Why you want to marry somebody that don't want to go to heaven? Because they look good. Got certain tattoos on their bodies. Make a uh, certain cars and all that, and listen, listen to the latest rap music and all. Man, that stuff ain't nothing but to take you down the drain. Right. This is a warning. Now, watch, watch, and make no. Be careful who you marry. Right. Man, somebody said, "What? Well, you better listen. Whoever you marry, that's how you gonna turn out. Because let, let me tell you something. I'm talking to the young people who are not married." I'm not talking about the people who wish they had never been married or uh, wish they were out of marriage. I'm talking about the one that's never been married. <laughs> if the gospel won't change them, you're wasting your time. You are never changing. <laughs> Amen. Look here, if he ain't no good and the gospel won't change him, you better not marry because he ain't going to get no better. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go a little further here. Uh, look, then he says, uh, thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughters shalt thou take unto thy son. Don't even have your kids messing with them. Oh, boy. See, a lot of times what we do is go to school and we, you know, they're my best friends and all this. You better be careful of the people that you're dealing with. Because this trash can take you down the ground. And you don't wonder how in the world did I get here? My mom and daddy taught me better than that. What am I doing in this bad shape? Preach, Brother Shannon. What in the world was I thinking about? These leave those people law for your own good. Yes, sir. And my listen, the world is full of them. And you can't talk about the ghetto. It seems like the whole America is ghetto. Amen. Everywhere you go is junk. Yes, sir. Amen. Right, can't run from it. It's everywhere. Amen. Amen. Look at this. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they, watch it, may serve other gods. What you say? God said to the children of Israel, listen to Moses, if you mess with those people, they're going to have you doing the same thing that they're doing, and they're going to have you worshiping idol gods just like them. Well, that's idolatry. Well, is it going on today? Not in the same way. Well, let me tell you something. I know members of the Church of Christ will miss service to watch a football game. Yes, that's your idolatry. Right. That's all it is. Yes, that's, that's idol. 
football in America is an idol. Yes, sir. It's dropped. You need to listen. Nothing wrong with football. But we have made it a god. And some of my brethren are so silly. They talk about Super Bowl Sunday. Where did that come from? Lord's Day, carry our coast, that which belong to the Lord. Amen. This is the Lord's Day. Amen. Put Mother's Day, Father's Day, Super Bowl Day on the Lord's Day, and some of the members follow that foolishness. Amen. 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 All right. Listen here. Listen. So will that. So look. Look what's going to happen. So will the anger of the Lord be killed against you and destroy thee suddenly. Yes, sir. God told his people, if you go over there and mess with them, I'm going to destroy you suddenly. Yes, sir. Let's make some application. Have you seen members of the Church of Christ leave and just go back out in the world? You can't tell them nothing. Amen. Look, if they don't believe fat meat is greasy. No, they don't believe water is wet. Right, Come on, they don't believe up. They don't believe up. They think everything is down. Right, they call good, God call bad. Right, what they call bad, God call good. Right, Leave them alone. Let's that's, that's, that's make some application. Some of them are in the church of Christ. We got some people in the church of Christ is just as worldly and got so much heathenism in them until you can't hardly talk no Bible to them. Right, They'll get mad at me. Oh, you can't cow with me now. I'm too old to cow. Me? 76 years old this year, you gonna cow with me? You wait, maybe you got me when I was 26, but not now. Because my time ain't long. I don't have a whole lot of time left. And you are sitting, you trying to, uh, what do you call it, bribe me? You can't bribe me, man. Me. I, anything you think I, I that you want, I already ate it. Don't none, of, don't none of this stuff excite me because I found out. Talk to me, somebody. That this stuff, we influence it, and everything I ever accumulated is going to be left for somebody. Talk to me. Is that right? It's going to happen to you, too. Don't let the stuff make a fool out of it. Let me go a little further here now. Watch this here. No partnership. Don't we be partnered with them. Look, if a person not converted to Christ, don't you marry them. Don't even make no deal with them because they ain't no good. It's all they, they good. They straight. They really? They won't obey God? Why do you think they're going to obey you? Preach now. No paganism. But thou shalt but thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall watch it. Destroy their altars. Break down their images. Cut down their groves. Burn their graven image with fire. Well, why he always using fire? Because fire signals uh, uh, is to let you know that he want to get rid of it. Right. When, when you burn wood, you don't see a style of wood no more. So he, he said, get rid of it. Burn it up. Now, let me just, just deep it a little bit. Over here, they appealer, a Moabitess deity. They, what they did, they conned God's people into following them. And you know, 24,000 of them lost their lives because somebody tricked them to follow them. Oh, you got it? Please listen. read Numbers chapter 25, 1 through 12. It is surprising. And it was so bad that God told them to hang them up so everybody could see it. Yep. And things highly esteemed among men is abomination for God. Yes, now, brother, listen to me now. We got to live in this world. We're in the world. We got to live in the world. But we don't live like the world. Amen. Now, how many people in here really want to be like the world? Do you really want to be like the world? Now, what God would do is, God is not going to send something to keep you from going. No, sir. If your mind, if you don't use your mind right, you'll end up over there. And you wonder what in the world happened to my family. Uh, young people, listen to me. You want to hurt your mom and daddy. You young people, listen to me. You really want to hurt mother and daddy. Start doing crazy stuff. 
see, when you're young, it, you, you really can't tell how much damage you're doing to your parents. Amen. But when you get older, you get 20 and 30, and you have your family, if you ain't careful, your kids will do you like that. Right. Yeah. You're right, Richard. Amen. Let's go a little further. Now, remember your relationship. Amen. God chose us. This is what it is. For thou art and holy. Look, look, I want you to look at something. He said, For thou art. Okay, come on. For thou art. Look at, look at this. Holy people. Y'all see that? Amen. Then he said, Unto the Lord. You're holy unto the Lord. So you can't go over there. Right. What they doing. I, I'm trying to. Trying hard. 15 minutes I'm trying on. Do you know what you're doing when you go over there and start doing what they do? Do you know what you're doing to the Lord? And he's looking at you, and every day you wake up, he's giving you a chance to repent. Amen. But you won't change. Now God, God can stop you. And if he stop you, nothing mom and daddy can do to help you. Right. All right? That's good. He said, uh, Hold on to the Lord. The Lord thou God has chosen thee to be a special people. Now, we look at a holy people, but it's special. Amen. All right? Not only special unto, uh, unto himself, above all other people. Look at that. There's a holy people, there's a special people, and watch it here. And above, above, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now wait a minute. Do you know who you are as a member of the Church of Christ? Amen. Do you really know? Yes, sir. Do you really know the relationship you have with God Almighty as being a member of the kingdom of God this son? Now God is telling us, leave those people alone for your own good. Amen. See, a lot of times we have bad problems in our Houses in our communities and all that stuff is because, listen here, we're resting with the wrong people. Right, 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 God, walk up and say, hey, bro, I said, I'm your brother through Adam, but you ain't none of my brother in Christ. Amen. See, because my brother in Christ don't do what you do. Amen. My brother in Christ don't smoke and drink and act a fool and with loud music and all that kind of stuff, all these gang signs and all these tattoos. See, a lot of members of the church like that. God don't let you go out there. But you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to end up in a bad hole one day and you wonder how you got there. Right. Amen. I'm helping somebody out here. Now, look here. God chose us. Now watch, not only did he, he cherish us, but look, he chose us, but God cherished us. The Lord our God. Listen, the Lord did not set his love upon you now choose you because you were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people. Somebody said, you know, church Christ is not that really that big. Man, it wasn't that big either. But as long as they obeyed God, could nobody touch him. You know why the church of Christ having so many problems? They're acting like the world. God can't use you. No, sir. A lot of members of the church of Christ just struggling all the time, year after 10 years. You still over there with these folks. All right, stop. They don't ever do nothing. They still don't over there. Amen. Broke as Job Turkey ain't going to never get off. You ain't just going to have a hard time all your life all right. following these people over here. That's up, man. Well, they my black brother. Wait a minute. Somebody said one time, Brother Shannon, you don't like black people. What in the world are you talking about? My mama's black. My dad is black. My grandmama was black. My great all of us black. I'm black. Got a black wife and black children. Black grandchildren and great grandchildren. Teach out a black child. What do you mean I don't like black people? What told you that? All right. I'm preaching to black people. I'm trying to help them. Help us. Amen. Yes, sir. We make a lot of money in this world and we broke his job turkey. Amen. We can't live from week to week. Oh, you've been messing with them people over there. Right. Well, Shannon, you two next. Well, let's go a little further here now. Uh, he tells us, remember your redemption. God loved us. But because the Lord loved you and 
because he would keep the oath which he had swore unto our fathers, God's loyalty to us. Then God liberated us that the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh of Egypt. Any member of the Church of Christ, black people, any black man that's a member of the Church of Christ, somebody bothered you to, for you to be a member of the Church of Christ. Because most of us came out of denominationalism. Amen. Some foolishness. Amen. Amen. I, I remember one time down in, in Pontotoc in uh, Union County, uh, I was at a sale down there, and a white man came, a white woman said to me, I was down there killing hogs, Keith, and she said, uh, I heard that you're a preacher. I said, yes. She said, uh, uh, you, 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 you Baptist preacher? I said, no. She said, you're a Methodist preacher? I said, no. She said, what kind of preacher? I said, I'm a preacher, a gospel preacher in the Church of Christ. She said, well, what you doing in the Church of Christ? Hey, hey, hey y'all don't usually be there. I said, I know it. I said, I just learned the truth. Amen. I said, well, I'm not no Baptist preacher. I'm a denomination preacher, Pentecostal preacher. I learned the truth. Amen. 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 If you're in a Baptist church, you didn't get that from the Bible. No, sir. Oh, nephew, you didn't get that from the Bible. Amen. I see black people all the time talking about, uh, I don't particularly like white people, but you're in their religion. Right. If you're in a Baptist church, white men started that. Methodist, all that stuff. Yep. Let's check. Do your research. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, wait a minute. Favor with God, that's good. Favor with man. Seven different kind of churches, you can name them. Look here, amen. Seven bad people. Do you know seven bad people in the church of Christ? Let me stop this story, the church of Christ. Do you know seven bad people in the church of Christ? Seven of them. How many people in the world that you know that's bad? How many are you dealing with? You can tell this is good when members of the Church of Christ been over there with them folks. You can tell. You can tell what they talk, the slang, the clothes that they wear, and all that stuff give them away. They give away all that. Any time the world come up or something, they run to it. Hook, line, and sinker. They, 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 some of them here there. And I'm trying to do, I'm taking the sword of the Spirit and trying to cut you out of that. Because I know what's going to happen to you if you stay there. Oh boy. Oh man. I'm just about finished. Now listen to this. Somebody came with the gospel of Christ. A couple of brothers, William Mosby, faithful brother in the Church of Christ, went to uh, Boulevard for years. I just I'm just gonna say this about Will. He's he he's He's still living. He was younger, and I was a bad member of the Catholic Church and cussing and doing everything, drinking, and just just foolish, just silly, just like some of you, just silly, <laughs> just do and say anything. And I never heard the boy curse. That's what got me. He never smoked a curse, never did nothing. I just couldn't get nothing on him. That was a black brother. He took me to my first gospel meeting to hear Brother David Shanks at Swanee Road where Brother Basket was preaching. That's been over, it's been about 45 years ago. And he, I think he's attending uh, Cordova now. Then there's Brother Sasser, he's an elder in church, a white brother. He stayed with me and stayed on me and stayed on me. Took me to my first lectureship. Gave me the first hand of tapes. And I didn't know I was going to obey the gospel. And when I see these two guys, I thank God that they were living a life so well before me that it got my attention. Amen. Are you getting anybody's attention in the world? Amen. I heard the gospel, his death, burial, and the resurrection from the dead. How Christ died and was buried, rose again from the dead. He brought one church, paid for it with his blood. Amen. I was told I got to repent of my sins. I remember Brother Shanks coming to me. Brother Joe said, Brother Shannon, 
What do you think is brother? It's all about time you get wet. I said, no, I don't need to get wet because I ain't ready to repent. Amen. Fair enough. And I wasn't baptized then. <clears throat> but when I come to my sisters and find said, boy, you in your sins. I called him one morning and said, meet me at 7, 714 Bethel. I want you to baptize me into Christ. Amen. I made my mind up that I, I got to go all the way. Amen. Heard the gospel, repented of my sin, confessed Christ, and baptized in the water for the mission of sin. And he said, that's the easy part. What's the hard part? Here he comes. Let me help him. Can you, can you make it up here, son? Yes, Come on, let's go. Let's let them see. They need to see this here. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at this. You got the church over here. James Rowe over here. All right. The gospel call, and our job is to take the gospel call over here. Yes, sir. Amen. Every member of the James Rowe Church of Christ needs to be involved in taking this over here. Yes, sir. And watch this. Church call. What is that? Correct influence. Look at this. First Peter three thirteen. Look what it says. And who is he that will harm you? If look at that word if if ye be followers of that which is good. Wait a minute. What about if you don't follow that which is good? That's why a lot of members of the Church of Christ are hurting today because they're not following that which is good. Amen. They're following evil stuff. Amen. Amen. God will take care of us. That's pretty good. Now, world corrupted influences. You know, one of the things that's hurting my people TV. TV. Television, the media, the school system. Uh, I'm not talking about the academic part. I'm not talking about that. I'm not necessarily talking about the teachers. I'm talking about the stuff that's going on in our schools, in our communities, in denominational churches. <laughs> because any time a church advocates homosexual marriages and all that kind of stuff, that, you don't need to be among them kind of people. Amen. Look here, our nation. Brethren, I was talking to one of my brothers. He's a policeman. He said, well, I said, man, why in the world did the man have it where you can carry a pistol without a permit? He said, want to kill up y'all. Yeah. And that's exactly what we do. Between this television, media, and school, they shooting people up in schools, yeah. in the community, shooting them up in churches. These old boys running around with the girl, and you can't leave the girls out because they just a bad. Yes, oh, we got some girls that's bad. Yes, I'm talking about black girls. Yes, black girls and black boys, look at that. Killing up people. Amen. My little black babies being shot. Yeah. Innocent black babies. And we talk about uh, black rights and we talk about uh, black lives matter. We don't believe that if we did, Shannon. We're not in control of nothing but some foolishness. We are wise to do evil. Amen, somebody. And God is not going to bless us until we come out of that stuff. And members of the Church of Christ, come out of that stuff. And your children that's watching TV and the internet, you be surprised the garbage that's going in their head. That's corrupted influence on your children. And it's hurting us as a people. It's hurting us as a nation. Will we wake up? Will we wake up? Look at that. Legalized marijuana. Yes, sir. Wake up. Look at that. All kind of drugs. You'd be surprised the pills and the drugs and stuff that they're taking gay wood is messing our people up. Yeah. Yeah. It's messing our communities up. Yeah. And these old gang bangs and all of them selling drugs in our community and our community look like look like a hog pee. Right. There's trash everywhere, cussing everywhere, women walking around with these little things on their head, house shoes, bellies out, tattoos and all. What is the world is going on? Around people like that, that's decent, and then they want to bring it in the 
all eat you good, you're wise, brother. Uh, you go to the grocery store. I said, what, what they must just get out of the bed. No, I couldn't find out that's what they do now. All right. And another thing, I went in there and I couldn't I couldn't believe what I saw. I said, I ain't never seen nobody with an eyelid lasted that long. <laughs> Everywhere I said, it's, what are they drunk? They got an eyelashes this long, so what is just I said, Joe, what is what is going on, Keith? And his eyes going like his here. I said, oh. I, I call them olive oil because that's what olive oil used to do to my back. I mean, what's going on with us? Any kind of stupid stuff that's over there. Now, God's people, I'm talking about black people. Now, God's people that's members of the body of Christ, we need to come out from over there. You don't want to be identified with those people over there. Somebody say, it don't make no difference what you wear, it's your heart. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you had been in Vietnam with us, and you said, I'm going to wear me some black pajamas and a little hat on my head, you'd have been a dead man. Yeah. Somebody said, I'm going to make no what you wear. Well, really? When what you wear and your marks, that identifies you, that tells them that you with them. Uh, time to quit here, man. Hey, man. There's, there's so much more we could do here. But this is hurting us. You see violence on TV. Brother Jones, you see violence on TV. You see it in the home. We got so much child abuse, and wife abuse, husband abuse. We just got, it's just bad. But brother, we need to be a light to these folks over here. Don't let them influence us. Let us influence them. Amen. 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 Quick, man. I should have been finished. Thank you, Brother Pettit. I hope this lesson has helped somebody here, and I hope I haven't been too hard on people, no, but I, it's, 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 it's serious business. Amen. Amen. And we need to wake up and try to encourage one another as members of the body of Christ to do better. In the white congregation, in the black congregation, we don't need to be like the world. We need to be Christians. Amen. Acts 11, 26, disciples first called Christian and Antioch. We need to live holy. We are special. Talk to me, somebody, above all people on earth. If you here need to come, we can do it right now together. We stand and sing. We pray that and trust that you will soak these lessons in and be blessed from the word of God. Thank you as always, and God bless you.